The Q2 roller is an inflatable device for the lateral turning of patients who are unable or have a reduced capacity to assist in their own turning. It is comprised of two inflatable chambers controlled by the caregiver to obtain optimal positioning for patient care. The Q2 roller can help with patient positioning for wound care and hygiene, bedding changes, and any other patient care needs that require the patient to be in a side-lying position. It also helps reduce friction and shearing associated with repositioning and helps protect the caregiver from injury as it gently rolls the patient without the need for manual lifting. In this video, we will explain how to safely operate the Q2 roller lateral turning device. The Q2 roller has two inflatable chambers, each containing an inflate valve and a red-capped quick deflate valve. The Q2 roller is constructed of breathable material to prevent moisture buildup and enhance patient comfort. The bottom layer is the securing apron, which is placed under each side of the patient's mattress to secure the device in place. The Q2 roller has a 600 pound patient weight limit. It is a single patient use device and should be discarded upon patient discharge or if it becomes heavily soiled. Each Q2 roller comes with five Q2R pads to protect the surface of the device. The Q2R pads are absorbent and breathable to wick away moisture and help control the microclimate of the patient's skin. If lightly soiled, Wipe down the top surface with a facility-approved disinfectant used to clean stretchers and mattresses. The Q2 roller requires the HT Air air supply with variable speed function for safe operation. The control button for this function is labeled adjustable. Each press of this button will incrementally increase the airflow and rate of inflation. To stop inflation of the Q2 roller, press the standby button. It's important to note that the standby button is not an off button and that power will still be supplied to the air supply as long as it is plugged in. Always use a minimum of two caregivers when using the Q2 roller to position the patient for hygiene or wound care. One caregiver may be used to reposition for pressure relief if both bed rails are raised and the patient is not exceeding a 30 degree turn. If possible, place the Q2 roller on the bed prior to receiving the patient or place it underneath the patient using a log rolling technique. Tuck the securing apron flaps under each side of the mattress to keep the Q2 roller in place. The Q2R pad may be placed on top of the device to keep the surface clean. If desired, remove the backing from the adhesive strips and secure the pad to the Q2 roller to keep it in place layer linens and or other protective pads above the device as needed. Press the adjustable button on the air supply to initiate airflow. Locate the inflate valve that is positioned on the opposite side of the turn direction and place the air supply hose over the valve. If necessary, you may press the button up to three more times to increase airflow. Slower inflation may benefit patients with significant pain or patients who are frightened. Note that the chamber may not need to be fully inflated to achieve the desired patient positioning. To adjust the level of inflation slightly, depress the center of the inflate valve to release air. For rapid deflation, remove the red cap from the deflate valve. This will quickly deflate the positioning device. Make sure the patient is attended and stabilized during deflation. Please refer to the Q2 Roller User Manual for more information.